Welcome back, it's time to go fishing. So what have I got for you this month? Well, to be honest, it's not really been the best of starts to the new saltwater season. Uh, we've had some very cold east and northeasterly winds blowing for the last few weeks, which has really kept the air temperature down. Um, and I'm a great believer in the old adage that when the wind's in the east, the fishing's at, at its least. And that certainly, in my experience, that's the case. And this especially applies to coastal fishing in my experience and despite our best efforts, myself and my fishing buddy um, have struggled to catch um, over these last few weeks. That's not to say we haven't caught, uh, because we have, but we just haven't caught the numbers we, uh, we might have hoped for. However, it's still very early in the season um, and each year is different, so there's still plenty of time uh, for numbers to swell. Um, and hopefully some nice fish will venture inshore soon. Now, I've set myself quite a task this year um, to both fish and film for the vlog, and so I'm still getting used to the extra work that I have to do when I'm actually fishing. It certainly isn't easy doing both, and uh, I really want to try and produce the best quality films and sequences that I can for your enjoyment, rather than just strap a, a GoPro to my chest or head um, and film that way all the time. So it involves carrying quite a lot of camera gear, um, as well as my fishing gear, setting up the shots, fishing and filming, and then coming back to the office and editing it all together. And it's quite a lot of work. It's been a really steep learning curve for me over the past few weeks, but I hope uh, you know that the quality of the films reflects the effort that goes into producing those and this vlog. And as time goes by, I hope that the films will get better as you know as I learn more about the editing and and shots and that kind of thing. Um, please bear in mind that a lot of our fishing is done at night. Um, that's due to time restrictions and the fact that you know um, we've in in our experience, bass do tend to feed better under the cover of darkness um, or you know. Uh, low light conditions at the very least. Um, so there will be some degradation in the film quality in places. Um, obviously this is due to the lack of light. We can't use permanent lighting because obviously that would spook the fish off and it would just work against us and I don't think my friends would be very happy with me that I fish with um, if I did that. Okay so let's talk about what fishing we've done over the past few weeks. Um, at last the weather's warmed up over the Easter holidays, um, we're well into 20 odd degrees, it's actually quite hot over the weekend, it's a bit cooler today while I'm filming this. Um, we've had a couple of lure sessions uh, at one of our marks um, which, which went into darkness. Um, we did manage a few small school bass and uh, my friend did manage one half decent bass of, of, of a couple of pound. Um, but we've had some lovely sunsets recently, um, which I've managed to catch on both uh, film and photograph, uh, which is really nice. You know, um, nice sunsets and atmosphere can can of often make up for a lack of fish. I also went out on my own uh, a couple of days ago um, to another mark, um, and, and I used the fly this time rather than lures because <coughs> I wanted to have a go with the fly. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I managed one small bass, uh, again, which <laughs> wasn't a great result, um, but I didn't really expect too much. It was an, a, a big spring ebb tide, um, and I actually didn't catch the fish until the, the tide had turned and started to flood again. Um, uh, I didn't catch it on film because the battery had gone in the camera that I was using. I wasn't paying attention, and uh, I was sort of I was, I was wading and uh, I hadn't, I'd forgotten to pack a, a spare battery with me, So, uh, but you'll have to believe me, I didn't blank. Um, anyway, I think I managed to get a nice sequence of the day, um, which I hope you enjoy. So that's it for this month. I hope uh, by next month I'll have managed to get out and catch a few more fish and uh, I'll have managed to put another, uh, well, a nice film together for you to watch. Um, so in the meantime, here's this month's. I hope you enjoy it 
and uh, I'll see you next time.